we are online. Um, welcome to the Barber Peak. Um, I think this is going to be a live session, by the way, and you see we are still in a moment of setting that up. Um, we will start the interaction in a moment. Um, to be honest, it would be great if you could mute yourself. Um, perfectly fine. Thanks a lot. Um, all right, then let's start with the session. I will share my screen um, to introduce you what we are going to do. All right, this is called the Balmer Peak, a life experiment. This is, by the way, brought to us by Jägermeister's Venture Capital and Innovation Unit M Ventures. They call them the best nights we see. I think we are at least going to have like a very good session here um, in, that, in that room now. So who is with us? Um, it's like two persons, um, uh, two volunteers, actually. Um, it's Jacopo and Zoltan, both are senior software engineers from Project A. Um, they work with us quite a while. Um, we are happy to have them on board and already thanks a lot for participating in that in that experiment. Next to that, we have the hosts. It's even more like than the uh, subjects to be experimented or observed. We have Tobias, he's in a room um, with Zoltan and Jacopo. Um, he will take care that the experiment is going in the right way, um, that everything goes smooth and also will serve the shots here. So you see um, something to do with drinking as well. Michael, um, our team in front-end engineering, and me, myself, um, we will take care of the moderation of that event. Um, and next, then, Michael, um, what is the Balmer Peak about? Yes. Um, so, hi, everyone. Uh, so, just quickly about uh, the Balmer Peak. Some of you may know this term. So, this is actually a humoristic term um, that does just a very simple claim, and that is that under a, a certain specific level of um, blood alcohol concentration, uh, programmers can gain uh, extra special programming skills. And now, of course, this is a, a mostly a joke, uh, although there have been some experience in, experiments over the years that try to prove it, uh, and we will try to uh, have some fun with it and see what we can gain, what data we can extract from this, and maybe we can prove something. Um, yes. Right. And let's see. Thanks a lot. Let's see. Um, Toby, how are we going to run the experiment? Can you mute? Uh, yes. Hello, everyone. I'm sitting here in the room with um, the two subjects, and I will basically observe them and um, help out a little bit uh, during the session um, with serving the drinks, for instance. So um, you can switch to the next slide. Yeah, exactly. So these are the two subjects, Zoltan and Jakubo, and um, I'm the observer in this case. Uh, my name is Toby. Hi. Um, so what we are doing today is a live coding session. Um, we will do five rounds of uh, eight-minute um, sessions where um, Zoltan and Jacopo will uh, try to solve as many um, tasks that we prepare for them. So all tasks are kind of uh, in a different kind of uh, on a different kind of level. So um, and um, after each round, they need to basically drink a shot. And then um, we will uh, we will try to measure how many um, uh, um, tasks they solved in in one um, session and or in one round, and hopefully then with this uh, prove the Barmer peak um, uh, once and for all because like it's like a mystery that's around for quite a while, and um, of course we want to know if it's true or not. Um, yeah. So I think I don't have anything else to say here. So um, the first round will be a dry round. Haha, <laughs> a small joke from my side. Um, so, um, and they will like um, just try without drinking um, to solve uh, as many questions as possible. And then uh, we, we um, switch over into the, um, into the drinking mode. All so, right. Yeah. I think Thanks a lot, Toby. We are and ready to go. Wait a, wait a second. Um, so what we are going to do now um, is the following. Um, I will actually stop the presentation. Um, I will start a timer here. Um, and uh, this timer actually starts now um, with like that eight minutes. Toby, ready? Jakub uh, Zoltan, better to say, ready to go? Go. Okay. Awesome. So we are off in the first round. Um, so, so Stefan will soon um, uh, sh share with us um, and see, so we can actually see what is going on um, from the coding uh, side. So we can actually see the uh, code as it's being written and the challenge as it's being solved. 
So uh, let's have a look. Yeah, how it actually goes. Um, maybe a question to the audience. Is it readable or should we zoom in a bit? Um, I think that would be probably interesting to, to hear. Could be bigger. Okay. Um, maybe, Tobias, it would be great to, to bring Jakobo Zoltan to zoom in a bit so that we can actually see the challenge here. Thanks a lot. That's perfect. Um, all right. So the first one is about even odd partition um, uh, to, to actually see um, what is the challenge about, um, about the part of like, um, doing the petitioning. Okay, that's, I think, an easy one. Uh, Michael, it looks like, like they're on a pretty good stage already. Um, yeah. The, 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 the language they're using is PHP. Yeah, so the experts uh, among, among you have already uh, hopefully seen that. Um, so that, that's the challenge of the choice. And um, the idea is here that once the challenge is finished, thanks for showing the, quest, uh, the, the, uh, the coding challenge, um, once it's finished, we are actually going to hit um, the, the run button that you see on the very bottom side, um, which is a bit hidden at the moment. You see yeah. not being signed in. All right, um, um, starting, off, starting off easy. Um, let's see. Okay. All right. Completed. That's awesome. So I think we did the first one. Um, and now let me actually introduce, um, I see collected already like a, bit of points. Uh, we're going to the next one now. What I would like to introduce as well is our sheet where we're actually going to show like the, the results. So you see um, the amount of rounds and let me quickly check how many minutes are left. So there are like nah, nearly six minutes left. Um, one challenge is solved um, and Tobias, the one who's doing the experiment or observation of the experiment is actually putting this numbers into that sheet here so that we also have like a clear relationship um, between challenges, uh, amount of shots being drank and so on and so forth. Yeah. So Stefan, what I what I like about this is that not only we're doing uh, we're promoting pair programming. I think uh, it's even when the stakes are even higher, then co collaboration and pair programming is even more important. I actually quite like this, and uh, we can see that uh, together they're working quite fast and quite nicely. Yeah. I think the question will be. Um, I mean, uh, uh, why now we can actually not see whether whether they're talking to each other. I think this become maybe like a challenge in the future to see whether um, like. Being able to express themselves is still possible, um, uh, but uh, I think this is something we actually learn about um, uh, in a second. Um, yeah. So um, I think what do we have now? So we have a, a second challenge: um, remove vowels function. Okay. Yeah. Right. I can also bring it up to to show it to the audience um, in in a second, and we actually can read what that mm -hmm. challenge is about. Um, you see, I'm trying to do a bit of um, the regie here. Um, as well, I hope that is readable. Oh, it was a wrong window, actually. So taking that one here, making it a bit bigger. So the idea is here um, that you're trying to, to write a function, moving all vowels within the string, um, and um, uh, getting something like hello in, and getting um, like whatever that means. I think that's probably also the way of the will express later um, out of that. Um, yeah, OK. Um, let's go back maybe and see what they're what up they're to. Doing. Maybe they're already done, actually. Maybe they're already done? Oh, no, they're still, still there. there. Okay. All right. Well, that's a pretty interesting approach. I'm not really sure why they choose that. Um, but uh, so, so, so you seem that they're iterating over every character, right? Is that that's what you mean? Case. Yeah. So then now doing, um, I mean, uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm not an expert uh, in PHP anymore, but um, I would probably just do like a Substill replace um, mm -hmm. like um, then then handing in like an array of characters like they do here. Yeah, Stefan, um, it could be it could be a more more traditional approach, right? Uh, that you're stating, like uh, maybe something with a with a regular expression. Oh, that could be nice as well. I think um, to to have that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a good one as well. Um, I mean, how would you actually solve such a challenge? I mean, Michael, you're coming more from the front direction, so mm -hmm. JavaScript, TypeScript is like the point um, that you're working with. Um, so yeah. how do you solve that um, approach. So I have to say, uh, I would probably not go in the regular expression direction. I would probably iterate um, um, as they're doing here. And especially since JavaScript has a lot of nice functional methods uh, that you can split, uh, you can split a string into an array, iterate over it, transform it functionally, and maybe join it back to a string. Mm -hmm. And you can do all this chain together. I would probably go in that direction. But I, I probably people who know regular expression as well, as I see now in the comments, would say, ah, you just need this regular expression, yep. as uh, uh, Rich, uh, uh, Richard here pointed out. Um, who is, uh, uh, yeah, so maybe maybe that will be like the most quick and easy solution. 
Yeah, let's see if they at least figured it out. Oh, yeah. then they do like a string combination to reassemble the string. Yeah. But it worked out. I mean, um, there we go. the most efficient way to solve that challenge, but it worked out. And I think that's the most important thing as well um, to see that. Okay, let's see what the next of it is. So the product of all integers, um, of all odd integers. I think that that's like an important one um, to just uh, sum up all of these. Um, getting an array as an input. Yeah. How much time do we have left for this round? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so there are two minutes left. Um, so maybe let's quickly check the, 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 um, the round data. So that's looking like that at the moment. Um, I think Toby is currently updating the, uh, the numbers here. You um, mm -hmm. need to leave it that we can also see like the result because still the sheet shows something like that. Um, ah, it's already on two. Yeah, so yeah. Um, challenge soft. I think that's pretty fine. Let's quickly check. Oh, oh, you're working even with comments. Um, th that's pretty nice, I would say, um, to, to have a comment um, here in as well. So they're already optimizing that part. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, all these, by the way, these these methods, uh, array reduce, uh, array map, I think exists. Uh, uh, these are not new in PHP, right? No, no, absolutely not. I would okay. say the majority of them, they are pretty old. Um, oh, we have Zoom in the place, right? Yeah. Um, uh, no, the majority of them are already pretty old, and it's nothing nothing new um, uh, in, in that case, um, especially that smaller, like, um, uh, um, main functions that, that you use all the time. Um, I think PHP originally comes from, like, a lot of string handling as well. Um, and so you have a huge amount of, of uh, functions that you can actually use to do any string operations here. But interestingly, I mean, the, because these are static uh, methods, they cannot really be chained. Uh, so it's a bit tough to that's do some right. functional chaining here. And this is actually what I mentioned, that in JavaScript this exists, so that's probably the approach I would take. All right, yeah. we're already actually solved. Uh, yeah, we solved challenge. the challenge. That is nice. We have like uh, 35 seconds left. Um, and I think uh, let's see what they're also going to do that uh, last uh, um, uh, challenge within the time. I, I doubt it a bit. Um, so what is the question here? Is an upward trend? Upward trend. Let's see how that goes. 20 seconds, Toby. Um, what we are then going to do on the one hand, we will stop the timer. We will stop the coding as well. Um, we will then switch over completely to the room. So I will also stop the screen sharing um, so we can see um, the first duration and see them actually drinking. Two, it's four, three, two, one, stop now. Um, and I'm finishing like the screen. Yeah, hello, back here from our studio. Um, the two um, subjects just um, finished the first <laughs> round, and I think they could need some superpower oil. oil. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go ahead, guys. I hope um, you will enjoy it, and um, cheers. 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 How was the first round so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. So you are really doing the real stuff. So finished everything. I, I <clears throat> observed it. Yeah. Um, so very brave That's because awesome. I think um, the Jägermeister is not really my favorite drink. So Shall we start already? Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the point. Please start. I will start the timer right. now. Wait, wait. Um, oh. I need Hello. to get connected again with the. Ah. Okay, this is like the disadvantage of a live session, um, but you can actually tell them they are ready to start. Yeah. Okay, then you can start now. Okay. Perfect. So I will turn on the screen sharing again, so that we are also seeing what is going to happen there. Um, here we are. So actually seeing like the second round, um, seeing the challenges that are um, supposed to be solved there. <clears throat> Very nice decoration. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. I think it's like a, uh, the best thing we could actually do. Or oh, the first, or oh, they just pick a different one. I think we had that already, or? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see what they're oh, no, to. Tower. Okay. Um, yeah, so that went pretty fast, I would say. Um, so, so not being able to control the mouse anymore. Um, so let's see how that goes. All right. Uh, this one is the one we already had. So we need. Uh, let's let's check uh, quickly. Let's check quickly what our developers are actually solving at the moment. Um, yeah. Okay. I think they are going to do that one. Remove vowels again, even if it's like duplication more bit. But um, let's see whether they may go another approach instead of um, 
the one that we had already. All right. Okay. Is the is the, is our clock running, Stefan? Clock is running. I mean. Yes. Um, so it, so it seems that they're already a little bit disoriented in finding the 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 right challenge to do. Yeah, absolutely. It's and it's interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's uh, funny that they're doing this string split again. Oh, mm -hmm. you see the typing is already starting, but I could not imagine that it's going that fast in terms of um, people hitting in. No, probably not. It could probably be also not. they're just they're just excited to code in front of so many people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, actually, they they don't hear us. I think that that's like their huge advantage, and I'm not really sure. But like, ah, I think they can see how many people are actually in the yeah. um, in the call itself. Um, it's like uh, maybe you can increase the pressure a bit, and we can mention it in the next round. It's like 43, um, which are currently in there, um, which is quite a quite a good amount as well, I would say. Yes, uh, actually, I see in the crowd, uh, uh, in the audience, uh, quite a lot of uh, interesting people from all around. Uh, so uh, uh, CTOs, developers, lead developers, um, some um, some meme creators, meme managers as well. Um, yeah, Wow. <laughs> um, so, so quite an interesting audience, I think. People are very curious about this. Um, yeah. So we're and and interestingly, we are we are back actually in the same direction of the solution, right? That we saw before. Yeah. I mean, now it's uh, at least I can still remind what they did before. Let's see if that still works out. Um, oh no, I think there is a like assertion <laughs> problem. Not as easy anymore. Not as easy anymore as a string got a bit more complex. All right. That's awesome. um, what is uh, I think it, um, hmm. I think the problem is actually here with the that they are not replacing like um, exactly. So it's like um, case sensitive stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I would say it's probably not the most elegant solution um, that we're seeing here at the moment. But um, anyways, I think that that's fine overall um, to to not do it perfect. Um, and I think yeah. we take into account like being under the servants of that many people here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a little bit um, kind of fi making it work first, I guess. Uh, yeah. I, I guess the refactoring will not happen today. Uh, but in real life, you would probably have to retouch this later. Yeah. Um, OK. I also see that they're already in round three. OK, that's pretty interesting. Um, um, maybe you should um, ask Toby the next time. So we have like four minutes left, by the way. So half of the time is over. Um, oh, that, that's like a new one. I think that's pretty interesting um, to see um, what they do about here. Um, mm -hmm. We also don't see any numbers being entered here yet. Ah, I think it's just happening right now. Yeah, there we go. So, so we have three in the so first Toby, round. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's clearly a dip. I mean, but uh, we are also yeah. at like half of the time. Well, if you look at the at the idea of uh, Balmer Peak, I mean, this is kind of what you expect. Um, so I promise you, we're not. Uh, 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 this is not on purpose. This is actually happening. So it seems that like currently we are experiencing this first uh, dip in in the programming skills. Could be also yeah. chance, but could be could be the case. Uh, after which we expect uh, hopefully to see a little bit of an increase, uh, right. followed by a, a reduction again in the skill. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the question is here a bit um, uh, whether it's just because of the taste. Um, well, either they like it or they don't like it that much uh, of the Jägermeister, but let's see how that goes. Uh, but I think at least that this solution is going to become a bit more sophisticated, at least it looks like. Um, so doing the join here. Um, I would say the variable name is probably not super perfect here, but um, it's going to be interesting. Checking the first time. Oh, there was a pass error. Oh, not yet. Right. All right. Missing somewhere. Oh no. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what are they actually trying to do here? Uh, th so this is this is uh, what what does this uh, method do actually? I mean, uh, the draft out trim. Um, as far as I know, if I remember right, it's removing like um, that characters from the right side of the string. Mm -hmm. um, or the last one. Um, I think I'll only double check actually what is supposed to happen here. That's not that super easy. No. All right. So I think if so, there is no no slash in it, okay, there must always be one slash in a result. Um, yeah. I mean, 
the question is a bit, if you see the input, uh, I could also imagine a proper solution could be to say, hey, look, um, we, are, we are just connecting always with like a slash and then just removing the double slash um, or like any slashes um, uh, within by just one, something like that. Um, let's see how they are going to try to solve it. Expected seems wrong. It has two slashes. Yeah, right, um, Richard. Um, the point is um, the expectation of the result is that there's also on, always only exactly one slash in the result yeah. um, and not the multiple ones. Um, and that's why um, we are seeing checking, checking, checking. Yeah, so ah, um, okay. there, there we go. Actually, there we go. So, Toby, we have like one and a half or a bit less than one, one minute, 20 seconds left. Um, uh, for for that solution, so hopefully we're going to make like three again, um, so that we at least stay flat in the Balmer peak. Yeah, that's like the second has already entered. I think that's a good thing. Okay, let's see what the next one holds in store. Into an area with no double cates. All right, uh, Stefan, can we maybe see the instructions? Do you have this? Yes, uh, I'm just just searching for them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so let me quickly open that one up here and ready to go. So we can meanwhile look over the shoulder and I will take care of searching for the for the task. So right. it was about like um, oh they're already ah it's that one here. Yeah so it would have been funny if, if this was just uh, uh, solved by returning the result of a built-in method like a ray unique. But there seems to be some some nuance here that they can yeah. think about. I think the, the, the easy solution would here do do an array flip twice, so they actually say oh, array unique is not working because. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it needs to be sorted as well, or. Oh yep, um, the time is over, um, so we need to stop here. Um, uh, All Tobias, right. um, you are on your side. Um, I will stop the screen sharing. We. Yeah, that was an interesting round. <laughs> um, how do you feel, guys? Pretty good. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Are you ready for the second round or? Always. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I mean, so far we could not prove um, the bar must peak yet, but um, it also says that, uh, that there is just one peak and you really have to, to get um, the right amount. So maybe two um, shots are the better amount of alcohol mm -hmm. to be able to um, solve more so, um, so of those tasks. Mm -hmm. um, I think we can... We can. Yep, we directly start. continue. Um, so I will share my screen again. We are ready to start um, directly now. Okay, after the third round then. Um, after the third round then, exactly. And, just need and, to and I, think, I think now we're actually, uh, this is the point where we're actually in the game, I would say. After two shots, uh, so. already a little bit warmed up also with the challenges, yeah. feeling comfortable maybe in the room. Uh, the first so, one so let's see how this goes. Everyone will start to, to take action um, on their side. Um, yeah. So let's actually see how they go now. Okay, I think um, they all now take tasks from like a second round of, I check if, okay, I can yeah. actually show that one here. Um, yeah, so, so, so check, check if string ending matches second string. So uh, essentially we're looking to, oh. uh, to, to take two strings and uh, return the boolean, right? So basically, and the rule is that uh, the first string uh, has to end with the second string, right? Uh, yeah, so that's we'll not go... a super easy one, I would say. No, uh, not. Uh, so I would actually see how they, they are going to manage it, just thinking about a solution by myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, I mean, uh, so this is actually interesting. So, I mean, we are, um, we have to, we have to, somehow um, take this, I mean, I would say the second string, uh, start with the second string would make sense because otherwise we wouldn't know how far back to go from the first string. So what we could right. do is somehow um, flip the first, uh, the first string and then um, for, each, for each character of, of the second string, uh, like compare it there. And uh, basically when, when you end up iterating on the second string, uh, if if you have all the characters in the flip string, then you should be fine. I mean, the, the, I think the flipping here just is just a convenience thing. You don't even have to. You can also iterate backwards. Um, yeah. But again, I this, this would, yeah. yeah. 
I think I think they're going to do uh, another approach here. Um, so what I'm probably going to do um, is to take the. Ah, that's an interesting one. Um, so they're trying to let's say cut off the length or like the like the second string. I'm not really sure whether it's going in the right direction, um, but uh, uh, checking whether the the last characters so taking the size of the. The string to be checked um, with the other, um, just taking the rest of the one um, to be checked against, and then comparison with that. That needs to be the right. I think that's going to the right direction. Okay. So taking at the, end, the length of the first string. I think yeah. there's a mistake still in. Um, but taking the length of the first string, that should not work. Or I'm wrong. No, that, that's. Uh, I mean. Oh no. That, that's actually that's actually quite a nice solution. No. Absolutely. Yeah, I think so, that's so no need no need for for flipping or changing. Uh, exactly. Just just actually checking the substring, which is actually yeah. quite a nice approach. I like it. And I think they, they actually did it within like mm, not three minutes. Um, mm -hmm. So let's see how the other goes. Um, but it could potentially be that we're now starting to reach the region of the Balmer peak. So if you remember, um, like that like that picture here that we actually used um, in the in the presentation. Um, uh, that is uh, probably the the one that that we are looking at at the moment. Just sharing it also um, for all the ones that have joined a bit later. And um, so the overall idea or question here was: When are we going to reach that point here on the right side? Yeah, uh, and uh, we could imagine that the previous round was maybe the the value of tears here. I mean, not speaking of that value of tears, then later. Um, but we are now on like the rising phase here um, in terms of Barmer Peak. Okay, let's see. So go back. Um, it's a double character um, challenge. Um, yeah. So, uh, so what does it mean? Do do uh, I'm assuming uh, um, we need to? Uh, are we checking whether there are double characters or? Yeah, I'm just trying to see whether it's a challenge, which is just the next one here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's out. Oh, this is repeating letters. So that's another one. All right. I actually see. In the meantime, I see that we have some. Uh, I mean, probably more than one PHP developers in the audience. I mean, I know some from Project A as well. Um, it could be that some of them are like sitting there and um, uh, screaming, into, the screaming into the computer uh, the solutions because they're frustrated. Uh, so I, I this, this is something we can probably identify with. Uh, but yeah, it, it seems that they, they, they even were quick to solve it before we can even figure out what the challenge was. So we're off to the next one already. Yeah, so I return to the factorial if I see it right. Okay. Exactly. Return the factorial. So this is this is an old classic, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the good old factorial. That should be relatively easy to solve. Um, so not sure, but that's now related to the questions um, that that we are seeing. Um, maybe let me also open that um, uh, for you, so you can also see the the question that was actually asked there. So it's that one here. Yeah. The function that the integer return the factorial of that integer. I think that's like a as yeah. say, pretty well known one. Yeah. So this is this is this quite a quite a old classic. Uh, and uh, always in this in the factorials, there's always the the common uh, one of the common solutions is is recursive, right? Uh, but mm -hmm. you can also go with an iterative uh, solution. So let's see what they're going with. What they're going to do? They're going with iterative solution uh, solution here, obviously. Yeah. Actually, my feeling is that the more you work uh, in in practice in software development, the the less you think about maybe mm -hmm. recursive solutions, unless you're in specific fields, which is interesting, because uh, yeah, because this works. Uh, this is kind of uh, something that's naturally recursive, but you wouldn't exactly. think about it anymore when you're used to working uh, iteratively. So yeah. and then and, and it worked for them pretty pretty easily. Absolutely. So we actually see them picking like the next challenge. Um, we have like two minutes left, uh, a bit less, but um, I think they're on a pretty, pretty good way already. Um, so uh, maybe let's quickly check how we're going with the uh, themselves. Oh, yeah, I definitely see like an upward trend. So it seems like the second round have been um, the, the latest part or the deepest um, area so far. Um, mm -hmm. So it's definitely going upwards. Yeah. And interestingly, this is actually what they're solving now. Right. Exactly, like it's an upward yeah. trend function. Yeah. So what a coincidence! Um, pretty nice to see that. <clears throat> okay, so basically they they need to resolve whether this uh, array has an upwards trend in its values, right? Uh, uh, or, exactly. Yeah. I can also share the challenge for a moment. Yeah, yeah. So it's just numbers. Uh, yeah, and uh, actually, it seems like you also need to handle uh, error cases, right? 
with with uh, if not, so uh, if you were in is exactly right. Yeah, so let's see. Again. Okay. So uh, it seems like they're going with this like um, nice classic kind of defensive approach. First, they take mm -hmm. the they take the bad case to get it out of the way with an early return, which is probably what I would do. Yeah. Uh, and and then they don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, so they're going to continue, uh, assume that the uh, that the input is correct, and then they can actually do the let's call it yeah. business logic here. That's right. What I see as a bit dangerous here is like the previous uh, like line two at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. So speaking about like accessing a field that potentially not exists. Yeah, uh, I mean normally that would. Pro I mean, if somebody's actually entering like an empty array, that could crash an um, application that kind uh, that kind. But um, mm -hmm. I think that's probably something that's acceptable. Just checking. So we have like 10 seconds left, mm -hmm. um, Tobias. Then we are going to to stop like the challenge. So we see the timer ticking here. Four, three, two. One and now my it's okay. ringing in my ears. Um, Tobias, it's time for the next shot. Um, please stop coding. So I think Zoltan does not really understand that the round is over. <laughs> so <laughs> it's time for another shot. We Maybe now we are getting to the bonus piece. Yeah. So I'm really looking yeah. forward to that moment. So cheers. Cheers. They're a good size. Yeah. yeah, I think we are prepared for the next round now. Mm -hmm. um, All right. Four. Then think we are ready to go, oh, Tobias, right. and start. Okay, so we're back in the game. This is like the third round of drinking now. Chin chin. Um, exactly right. Um, I think. They're still loading like the next challenge. Yes. Taking a bit of time. Okay. So um, I don't know what, maybe the platform also is a bit influenced. Uh, but in the meantime, I mean, let's look if the audience has anything to say uh, before. I mean, um, so so uh, Christoph is reminded of, of uh, being young <laughs> and uh, and produ reproducing such things with PHP and Jägermeister. Um, yeah. yeah, and naturally with some headaches afterwards. So that's something definitely to be responsible and take care uh, to drink Absolutely. some water, get some rest, uh, yeah. which is but, something but, uh, that we Christoph, tend to to help Zoltan and Jacobo with, of course. Definitely, I think Christoph, it's something that uh, uh, that we take care of. So they're also maybe important for, to know to know for everyone. Um, so what will happen afterwards? Yeah, so that's a bit the question. Um, we we'll put them into a taxi, and they will get like a bit of headache, medicaments, um, huge bottle of water, and then we will hopefully see them um, on Monday um, being refreshed over the weekend um, and then not getting stuck um, with like a huge headache here. <clears throat> okay, so uh, what are what are we looking for now? Uh, this function is called equal. Yeah. Equal, so I'm just checking the equality of three values. I think it's that one here. Um, so I can share it as well. Oh, this, oh, no, that's the wrong one. Just see either it's, I should be that one. Okay, so yeah, so just, to, just for everyone's information, so we do have a list of, of uh, prepared challenges uh, that are supposed to be more or less in, in similar um, similar uh, level um, of, of how hard they are. So currently we are in this one, which it seems like they're only on the route to solve. And uh, what exactly are we looking for here, Stefan? Um, so we are looking here for um, to see whether a function, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's actually take like three arguments um, and just um, the amount of integers which are equal. So if you put it in something like mm -hmm. a three, four, uh, three, four, three, then you get like a two out of that. So I would say it should be a relatively easy solvable task. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, the, the, yeah. I mean, they're they're going with with just a simple um, kind of collection of, of if statements, I guess, yeah. uh, incrementing the amount. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, they want to return the count in the end. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder uh, what is failing at the moment. So uh, basically, currently they have some like off by one issue here. Um, yeah, actually, so they expected two and 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 got. Uh, um, and one only. Yeah, um, expect, expect a one and got two actually. 
So let's see what. Uh, so what's what's actually the issue? We have um, maybe bringing in the solution as well, um, mm -hmm. or the, the the challenge as well. Like that should be three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. And now it's getting a bit more complex, as you can see. Um, yes, it's one of it's one of those that are uh, I guess uh, simpler uh, when you when you look at them the first time. Absolutely, and it's also much simpler to speak about them and yeah. solving them. Actually, also actually yeah, and and actually, this 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 I think is an interesting right because because they want it first with just having this count and then mutating it, and usually yeah. that's a con this this kind of flow control is is very hard. It gets very hard to manage very fast, even in these simple cases as we see. Mm -hmm. So probably I would even go in the first place with these earlier returns, which is safer and more explicit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's still failing. Um, yeah. Well, I think they like, just have a. I think they they are they don't have a case for three, do they? Ah, they do have a case for three. They have one. And they have two cases for two. But I think in the in the case for, for in line two, they're actually not checking whether A and C are equal. Um, mm -hmm. So that is definitely okay. It seems they're stopping that challenge now. No, mm -hmm. maybe they maybe they're. Are they, Doing it because of waiting. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, now it's going interesting because they're doing like two things in parallel, um, or they just continue with a more easy one. Remove now. I mean, that it could be that they solved that one. Uh, we didn't even notice. I, I was just loading. Check in the sheet what it's saying. Mm, pretty sure that was solved. Let's say. Oh, okay, but you're three already. Or oh, that cannot be. I think Toby is currently entering like the right numbers here. Um, so not yet updated. Okay, well, I mean, we'll come back around to it at the end of the round to see how it's going. Oh, no, we're doing like a bit of functional programming. We see that this failed, obviously. By the way, Toby, um, there is like uh, two minutes 40 left, um, so a bit of time still, but also not that super much. Okay, so, um, yeah. So in, in in this one, so this is this is actually the the method we talked about, right? The filtering exactly. or or all these transform array transformation methods. Uh, this yeah. works very similarly in JavaScript uh, by you know iterating, uh, basically passing a callback to to be mm -hmm. called on, on every item of the iteration. Uh, so so that's definitely the way I would go as well. Um, um, thing the thing is here that they need to remove now. Ah, okay, wait wait, we actually saw that they solved the quality of three values thing. Um, so that was like yeah. a good one. So that can definitely yeah, I think, yeah, I think they didn't want to wait for the platform to load, right? But yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I think uh, if, you, if you go for speed here, I would say the, the right point uh, would actually be to say, okay, probably I would iterate um, over the array um, and uh, then just um, uh, create like a new array and, and like uh, just putting all non-null values into that. Uh, I think that would be my approach here. But yeah. um, uh, Ah, okay, but they did it. Very good. Um, so just go. getting the values. Um, so now I think we could actually check because I think it's the third or fourth challenge that they already solved. Um, there is one and a half minute left. Um, this is like convenience store. Let's see where that is. Um, All right. So, yeah. Stuff to read, obviously. So now they're now need to read a little bit for sure. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the trick. Uh, but uh, from from my from my experience, uh, um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's harder. I mean, sometimes actually short ones can be can be tougher. It just takes a bit more time to read. But let's see. Uh, so so you are they're giving um, yeah change enough. All right. So it's some it's some kind, there's some kind of rules right, uh, and, and you need to check about the change. We can look about look at the details if we have time. Although I think we're probably going to end the round soon. Oh yeah, we have like 45 seconds time. We mm -hmm. still can have a look at the at the challenge itself. Um, yeah. Ah, so well, to yeah, get, yeah able to pay for an item. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 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 yeah. So it's you, basically uh, given the the total n and the change representation, right? Um, right. So that that's that's quite interesting. You need to, you need to extract from that um, whether whether it's enough to pay. I mean, it's like a challenge that you nowadays typically don't have if you just use your credit card for payments, but um, uh, probably this is more like a challenge from good old times. Um, well, or, or if you live in Berlin, right? We all know all that. All right, that's true as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just really sure that they check that one. Oh, and the time is up, by the way. Um, Toby, so we are actually switching over to you. Um, to yeah.
uh, the last yeah. round, I guess. Yeah. This round was not good. <laughs> so the peak was the third round for sure. <laughs> for us. And the, and the, uh, the first. Okay. Oh. So. But I mean, that's normal. Um, so when you have a theory in science, it doesn't necessarily mean that the experiment will prove that, right? Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, I think it's a totally valid result to <laughs> say in the end, the, the Bamos peak does not exist. So um, yeah, we are good to go, Stefan. Good to go. Okay, all right. Then I will start a timer now and you're ready to go. So I will put my screen on again. Um, that's the right one. So check if the string is a palindrome. That's okay. the one. Yeah. yeah, another another classic, by the way. Palindromes are an old favorite of programming challenges, uh, given their, their their interesting their interesting kind of characteristic. Of, of uh, iterative characteristic, right? So it always makes it uh, quite interesting. Uh, and this is also one of those that I feel are more or less difficult depending on the language because some languages have specific features that help with it. Um, so, so this is, this is also sometimes something to see. Uh, um, but yeah, essentially, I mean, who, I mean, I guess a lot of people are familiar, but whoever is not, uh, though a palindrome is basically a, a a string of characters or let's say a word or a sentence that, that can be read the same forwards uh, and backwards, right? So like right. the name Bob, for example, uh, or yeah, there's, pretty... yeah, or there's good old, uh, like longer palindromes that are famous, uh, uh, like a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. Uh, you can check that one. That's a, quite mm -hmm. a nice one. Very nice. Uh, and this includes spaces, of course, right? So, so you need to check the whole sentence. I think this is like the tricky part here. Um, Are they now going to lower it? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so, so we are also being asked if uh, we can actually sh maybe share later the the, the sh challenge sheet, so the, the list of challenges. Um, mm -hmm. So, the, because people maybe might want to try this themselves. Yeah. Either um, with or without breaking. So that's them up to you, up to them. Can yeah, up to you. But uh, please, please be responsible. Whatever you do. Yeah. That's um, definitely And that's so, maybe also the point. We're doing it in a safe environment here. Um, so do the same thing at home also in like a safe environment if you try. So maybe let's have a quick look into the sheet. So how well we're currently standing. Um, I think I think we don't have a clear sign yet. Um, so either this have been like the small peak here. Um, I'm not sure whether it's superhuman skills. Um, I definitely see like a downward trend here um, in, the, in the fourth round. Um, let's see how the Fifth now is going, and hopefully it's not just uh, increasing again. Yeah, for now we still we see a little bit of a of, of this up and down inconsistency, uh, more than like an actual peak. Um, I mean, of course we don't have the perfect lab environment, but I think it's still interesting. So uh, let's see how we we keep going uh, now. Uh, so it seems that they already actually went ahead and solved the palindrome, right? Either they solved or skipped it, uh, so we don't know actually. I think the the question is here uh, a bit. Not sure how you see it, Michael. For me, it looks like we are getting already like a bit slower um, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, reading skills or reading ability. Um, so definitely, yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting because some of it is uh, is not only say the uh, the algorithmic thinking itself, but also reading and understanding the requirements, exactly. uh, which actually is interesting, right? Because this is also very relevant for developers in in real life uh, understanding requirements understanding what needs and what doesn't need to be done and not only solving, like, say, logical problems. Uh, this is definitely something important. Uh, so for that, you need uh, the same, uh, if not even more, focus. Um, I yeah. think that that's the tricky part here. Um, it's not just the coding um, itself, um, but it's actually the point of, like, um, reading and understanding the task and then converting it into, like, a good rep representation in the source code itself. Okay. How far are we the time? So we are... Let's say half time, more or less, um, half time plus 10 seconds. Um, I think so far we haven't solved any of the challenges and let's we'll see how that goes. Checking platform obviously also takes a bit of a while. Oh, they, they finished it pretty nice. nice. Um, nice. <clears throat> so we are already um, at the point of, oh, no, I need to find my, also getting confused quite a bit. Um, I think Pumi is currently updating data here, so we are one. So if you see the series of numbers here, um, so it's like a 
three, this was like without anything, two, um, like the first dip, um, and uh, I think this was, uh, as far as you can see now, like the peak. Um, they should have shortened the interval a bit. Uh, from a graph perspective, it looks like that. Uh, so let's see how that actually goes into. Yeah. So I mean, it could be it could be considered a tiny little I mean a, a bump, depending I guess on the scale you're looking at it. Uh, right. we're, we are talking about quite small scale here, right? Uh, two or three challenges anyways uh, solved per round, uh, given the yeah. nature of the challenge. So, uh, yeah, I mean, um, I, I guess we, we definitely see some slowing down, as you said. Definitely the case. And I think that's also like a tricky one. Um, so maybe you should, um, yeah, how's the box completely good challenge? Um, let me quickly check for that. Um, it's that one here. You can have a look into that as well. So the idea is here to say, okay, um, seeing that box, <clears throat> um, that is obviously completely filled with stars. This is obviously not filled. Um, this is true as well. So I would say the algorithm is probably here to see, okay, um, it always seems to be like the second or everything that is not the first and last line need to have um, at least, what is it like, uh, amount of characters from the first one, minus one or minus two, um, uh, stars in it to to become true. And I mean, this is now super easy because we're sitting like a bit of detached, a bit of far away. Um, uh, we can have the time to read that challenge and think about it, um, which is not the case for, for both of them. And I think our advantage, Michael, is still we don't have any shots inside, um, <laughs> which is not that bad no. as well. And we also have the... the we also have the, the the privilege of being able to think it, uh, talk about it in an abstract way and not actually have to write the code that, that gets interpreted or compiled. Uh, yeah. So it's it's a bit less stressful for us. Uh, although I wonder if at this point they have already forgotten that they're even being watched, given that they can't really hear us. That's uh, a good maybe, question. Maybe they're just in the zone at the moment and just going for it. Yeah, that, that could be like an interesting thing. Um, just looking at the time, so we have one and a half minutes left. Um, what I actually will do is, um, there was a question about um, sharing that sheet, and I think there's nothing secret here um, of just doing that. I will paste it in the chat here. Um, so then you see our rounds, you see the round data, um, but you are obviously not able to, to change it. Um, uh, so I just paste it for a second. Yeah, but uh, you, can, you can go ahead and, and, and try. I mean, this, this platform uh, is quite nice for, for these little challenges. Uh, and uh, yeah, you, you can give it a try if you want to, um, to, to move your brain a little bit into these small challenges. And of course, uh, you can find more complex level challenges here as well. So give it a try. Right. Okay, so for the ones who are actually interested in that, um, it comes the link to the sheet. Go and have a look into that as well. So, we have 24 seconds left, uh, and then the experiment actually will end. Um, I think it's going to be like pretty, pretty interesting. Um, I'm not really sure that they're continuing. I think they're doing a bit of work still. Yeah. So, I mean, this um, this started quite fast, and now I guess. Um, Obviously, it's getting slower. Yeah, okay. but, uh, but I think they're, I think they're gonna. Oh, we're out of time. That was a. I mean, we can maybe count this one. No, no, they no. felt it. All right. Unfortunately not. Um, so um, I would say let's stop the screen sharing here, Toby. I'm handing over to you. Maybe one question to the participants: How did it went so far? Um, one question that. Um, Stefan just raised, how was it? How was that challenge for you? Exactly, we had a peak and from there on we just went down. Like <laughs> we, we didn't even, we had trouble understanding the, the, the task even at the point. Yeah. So I maybe think, just one question, could you do another round? Of course, but I mean, no, there are many, many not tasks. seriously, but what? Yeah, we could do it. I mean, we're not wasted, but it's just difficult to understand the, require. the requirements. Yeah, it's difficult yeah. to analyze actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning, you uh, solved quite a lot of them, I guess. Uh, we really had a peak somewhere, like I think at round after two, the first three, drink, yeah, it was yeah. pretty good. I think it was like after the first drink, it, it got a little bit better, right? Yes. Yeah. And it was actually on the same level as without drinks. Yeah, and so we were almost finished one more, I think. 
Yeah. Almost. Even almost. Yeah. I think yeah. we were even better. Yeah, I mean, you, we have to admit um, that this website is uh, quite slow, so that was maybe also <laughs> not <laughs> ideal in that case. <laughs> but I think impressive after this amount of Jägermeister. I would probably not sit here, but I would lay uh, under the table. I mean, feel free to, to drink more of them, but I don't know if, if, if that is really what you want right now. I mean, they were pretty fine, but not the idea to program, let's say. To, okay. To do I, would, I would prefer coffee still. <laughs> coffee That's and good. pizza. Then I would say um, thanks a lot, Jakubo and Zoltan, for, for participating. Um, I think that was like a pretty nice experience. Maybe also sharing another time like the results um, that, that you actually produced in terms of like a chart. Um, so we definitely saw like the first round here um, being uh, starting with the round of solvents of three solutions. Then we saw the dip. We could assume, I would say, that in the second and third round there was a peak um, that we expected to see, and then there was a really, really clear downwards trend. Um, uh, uh, to to like um, at least one challenge being solved. Um, I would yeah. say we, Michael. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, so I, I wanted to say that uh, what I see here. I mean, uh, Paul, I see writing in the chat that uh, it's just downwards. I don't think it's just downwards. Actually, it's kind of a, a snake graph in a way. So what I think we see is actually that they went down and then went back up to their initial skill. So in a way, there was this kind of initial dip. Then they came back to the in their initial skill that they managed in the beginning. And then there was a large dip in skill, which would probably have continued. So yeah. definitely mostly right. downwards, which is not surprising for me. Uh, whether there is a peak or not, I guess uh, it's hard to tell at this scale, but there is definitely some uh, redemption at the middle after kind of like two shots or so. Right. All right. Then I would say, Zoltan Jakubo, for you, again, thanks for doing that experiment with us. I think it was also like a challenge for you sitting in that room, um, drinking your shots, doing the coding. Um, I would say well-deserved um, Friday evening for you. Um, get a coffee, Zoltan. Yes, please. There is enough um, left. Um, uh, take a taxi to, to get home in a safe way. Um, and then tomorrow, recover a bit. Um, we actually press our fingers crossed that there will be no headache um, for you tomorrow morning. Um, so I think we have a couple of uh, comments being also under uh, there to just drink enough water now. Um, that should definitely help. Maybe take aspirin or something like that. Okay. Right. Then um, I think we will actually end that session here. Great. Thanks a lot. Um, thanks also a lot for all the participants um, who have joined us, um, who actually um, uh, mentioned all the nice comments. Um, it, was, it seemed to be or seemed to have to be in, uh, like entertaining and funny. Um, and uh, yeah, Christian, I see drink irresponsibility. Uh, that doesn't count for us anymore. Yeah, so we take it safe um, and uh, uh, send the coupons out on home now. Okay, it was very entertaining. Thank you for joining. <laughs>